Hi friends, let me ask you a question. How would you feel if you have to report to someone who's seven years junior to you in your organization? Tough question, right? Now, let me share this story. Let's say you join an organization. The manager is three, four years elder to you. There's no problem. Senior to you, no problem. Now, let's say the manager gets a promotion and moves on. Now, there's another person who becomes a manager and that person is your colleague with whom you were working in the same team. How would you feel reporting to that person? Well, a couple of my participants have told me, you know, sir, it will be a challenge, but yeah, okay, we'll accept life, you know, whatever it is, and we'll move ahead. What, what else we can do? Fair enough. Now I ask them, let's say that person also gets a promotion, moves ahead. Now you have to report to someone who's seven years junior to you. Now how would you feel? They say, now it will be a challenge. <laughs> Probably, you know, we'll start looking out for alternatives. I said, okay, fair enough. Now let's say that person also moves ahead. Now someone who's junior to you by 15 years, how will you feel now? This is a now definitely will quit. We are not going to work in that organization. I'm not going to, going to report to someone who's 15 years junior to me. I said, okay, fair enough. Let's park this. Then I asked them another set of questions like, you know, when you join an organization, let's say the vision of the organization was X, Y, Z. You invested years, you know, in mastering the entire process, the system. Now, the moment you mastered the skill, the vision of the organization changes or the focus of the organization changes. Now, again, you spend quite a number of years to master the skill. Now, again, you have mastered, again, the focus changes. Now, how would you feel? Well, a lot of participants say it would be challenging. I said, okay, let's say, let's park this also. Now, let's say there's a, uh, there's a lot of technological, you know, changes that are taking place in the world and there's a technological process change in your organization. Okay. You have to adapt to new technology regularly. Do you find it frustrating? They said, yes, we do. I said, okay, fair enough. Let's park this. Let me ask you another question. Let's say you join a team, you do good. Now you become a senior team member. Now your managers expect you to not only deliver, you know, for the work that has been assigned to you, high productivity, but they also expect you to mentor or coach, you know, some of your team members. You invest time, energy, you know, a lot of years. But the moment that team member was, you know, ready to deliver, the team member gets a transfer or the team member quits or the team member is you know, shifted to another vertical. Then how would you feel? They said it will definitely be a challenge, you know. I said, now imagine if everything happens to one single person, whatever I told you, whatever question I asked you, if it happens to one single individual, then what will happen? Well, a lot of participants have told me, so either the person will go in depression, either the person will be frustrated, you know, but whatever happens, that guy will not have a great career. And then I smile and I tell them, this is the story of the great Sachin Tendulkar, the god of cricket. Now let's go back to those questions and understand. His first manager was Sri Kant, no problem. Azuruddin, his senior, no problem. He became a captain, did not do well, stepped down as a captain. Then he had to report to his childhood friend, Saurav Ganguly, again, no problem. Later, he had to report to Anil Komle, with whom he debuted, again, no problem. Later, he reported to Rahul Dravid, seven years junior to him, again, no problem. Later, he reported to Mahendra Singh, Dhoni was 14, 15 years junior to him, again, no problem. If Tendulkar would have said that, that Dhoni will not become a captain, I will not report to Dhoni, probably Dhoni would not have become the captain, but then, Tendulkar would not have got the World Cup. High probability, right? Now, in the 90s, Tendulkar was the only consistent player that we had in the batting. You know, obviously, till the time, you know, Ganguly, they all came into the picture. There was a lot of churning that was taking place. When he debuted, the focus was test match. He mastered test match. Then one day, then later on IPL, he, he, he was adapting everything that was coming there. He was adapting to every form of cricket. If you look at technology, uh, uh, he's the first cricketer to be given run out by the third umpire in a match against England. Then computer came into the picture, then graphics came into the picture. Everything this guy kept on adapting because he understands that the managers might change, the team members might change, there will be change in the environment, there will be change in the process, there will be change in the system. But if you are productive, if you are upgrading yourself, if you are upskilling, if you are giving what is expected with regards to, you know, your productivity, in his case, runs, fielding, bowling, whatever, you know, no one can remove you. All you need to do is focus on the controllables. So when you go back to your office, please remember there are certain parameters 
which you will be able to control that is your skill your knowledge your productivity your focus your discipline your time management and there are certain things which are beyond your control like your manager your colleagues the environment that we call the pest environment that is political economical social and technology all these things will keep on changing focus internally grow externally thank you